Hallie Laura Channel, you are watching Mike Davis out with groin injury. Running back Mike Davis waited a long time to make his Seahawks debut. It didn't last long. Davis, promoted from the practice squad last week, had six carries for 18 yards and two catches for 41 yards before leaving with a groin injury. He sat on the bench, a towel over his head and became emotional as teammates offered their condolences. He will not return. Davis, a fourth-round pick of the 4-9 ERS in 2015, played eight games for San Francisco last season. He had 19 carries for 50 yards and three catches for 25 yards and a touchdown. The Seahawks claimed him off waivers in May, and he had 106 yards on 24 carries in the preseason. Mike Davis, groin, will not return vs the Falcons. Seattle Seahawks RB Mike Davis will not return with groin injury vs the Atlanta Falcons. The Seattle Seahawks running back position may just be cursed. Every running back, they've played except JD. McKissick has been hurt in 2017 and the recently called up Mike Davis will immediately join the club. According to the Seahawks, Davis will not return to the game with a groin injury. Davis had been playing well prior to leaving. Although he only had six rushes for 18 yards, he also has two receptions for 41 yards. Davis left the game in third quarter and joins the long list of running backs to be injured this season. Eddie Lacy suffered a groin injury that lost him two games. Thomas Rawls missed time to start the season with an ankle injury. CJ Procise has had two high ankle sprains and sits on injured reserve and of course, Chris Carson has a significant ankle sprain that's shelved him since week four. The Seahawks injuries are piling up but the running back position and secondary are the hardest hit. As for this game, Eddie Lacy and JD. McKissick are the only two backs who remains to play the Falcons on Monday night football. The Seattle Seahawks have been unable to rely on a running back since Marshawn Lynch's mid-season injury in 2015. They've cycled through many this season, one that's featured a litany of key injuries for the defending NFC West champions. The latest new cog to see action in Seattle's backfield, Mike Davis, won't be returning to Monday night's game either. Davis suffered a groin injury that will keep him out of the remainder of the NFC matchup. He was playing well for the Seahawks prior to this setback. The former San Francisco 4-9 ERS backup totaled eight touches, six carries, two receptions, and 59 yards in his Seahawks debut. Seattle has two other running backs active, Eddie Lacy and J.D. McKissick. Davis spent two seasons with the 4-9 ERS, functioning as a backup during seasons in which Carlos Hyde suffered injuries, and played in nine games with the Los Angeles Chargers this season. The Seahawks, who have lost Chris Carson and C.J. Procise for the season, promoted Davis from their practice squad prior to the game against the Atlanta Falcons. Thomas Rawls is also out, so Lacey and McKissick who began this season on the Arizona Cardinals practice squad are in charge of ball-carrying duties for Seattle to close out Monday night football. Russell Wilson leads the Seahawks with 60 rushing yards on five scrambles. McKissick's rushed for 30 yards on seven carries, and Lacey has two on two totes. Lacey missed Week 10 with a groin injury, so McKissick is about the only fully healthy back on the team. Seahawks RB Mike Davis exits game against Falcons with groin injury. The Seattle Seahawks backfield may have just taken another hit. Running back Mike Davis, who was promoted to the team's 53-man roster earlier this week when CJ. Procise was placed on injured reserve suffered a injury during the first possession of the third quarter of Seattle's game against Atlanta. Following a screen pass, Davis was seen on the Seahawks' sideline being treated in the medical tent. The Seahawks announced via their official Twitter account that Davis suffered a groin injury and will not return to Monday's contest. Davis, a fourth-round pick by San Francisco in 2014, was claimed off waivers by the Seahawks in May. He was waived during the team's 53-man roster cuts in September and signed to practice squad the following day. He finished the preseason as the Seahawks' leading rusher with 106 yards on 26 carries, and five receptions for 41 yards and a touchdown. 
The third year running back was expected to play a larger role in the Seahawks backfield alongside Eddie Lacy, J.D. McKissick and Thomas Rawls, but won't finish his first game on Seattle's active roster. Davis had 18 yards on six carries, and 41 yards on two catches before his groin injury on Monday night. Thank you, please share video and subscribe my channel for more video.